And we're back here. We didn't miss too much. No more, no, not too much T-Tours early on. It's Boomy heading top lane with those boots of speed. Already going to get a very early ward here. And in fact, no one from Boom Esports even approaching the top lane yet. Everyone's staying on the bottom half of the map thus far. This, uh, this right quadrant, so to speak. Ring of Bazzi here on the Grimstroke. That should be the Phoenix then. Kind of nice on the Phoenix. Of course, he starts with zero armor now compared to the negative one or the negative two he had before. So he's at least able to... Uh, he's, he can get away with starting with just plenty of regen and a headdress. He doesn't really need to, to start uh, anything else or no stats necessary. It's position four anyway, now that you would buy too many stats, but the point's still there to be made. So right now, they've got Dreamacell in the off lane. So it looks like they're going to try swapping the lanes here on the side of Boomy. Yeah, I like this from them. I think it's better for him to lane against the PL. And the Grimstroke wants to be against the PL as well, not the Phoenix. This is actually really good from Boom. Yep. Oh, Hyde actually doing a great job of scouting the ward there mid lane too. So now they have Vision of the Ward. Kez Cube placing a very aggressive ward. Two very aggressive wards, actually. Uh, one very aggressive ward and one regular aggressive ward. Well, I hope they the don't try lane. I think Phoenix should be top. But I guess with the Bacillus on the Grimstroke, they are coming to his try lane. Mm-hmm. Definitely would have preferred to see the Phoenix top with the Mars. I don't think they need to be three heroes down here. Uh, so they they at least know that the Phoenix is down there. They have no intel right now on the whereabouts of this Grimstroke. So we'll see how Adroit respond here. Uh, CML, he's got a courier running out to him. And Hyde might be able to kill it if he wants to go for it. But now he's going to be already out of range. Might be first blood here, actually. They've got uh, one more fire spirit. They need a little bit more. Missing uphill was probably crucial there, though. I think they're going to miss it just by that much. Nope, they're going to get it. And they're actually going to TP the shaker down bottom already here. So it's going to be try on try for now. Very nice kill. Mm -hmm. FBZ is pretty happy with this. Uh, I mean, Box happier. He's level 2. Has a double wave on FBZ. It's going to apply a bit of pressure here. Mid lane's the interesting one to me. Because from, from what I know, um, Razor is not... Very happy against Kunga. But I definitely seen the matchup go both ways. Enough damage stolen there just to, to prevent the, the cleave from getting the CS down the range. Wow, Natsumi dead in the bottom lane actually. Looked uh, looked mid just for a little while and missed completely missed out on that kill. Didn't even Did I do something? Uh, L2 on Remo Cell. Uh, Caught him off guard there. Yeah. Due to the supports rotating to get the first blood level. Yeah. Looking good for Boom so far, but Mm, there's good, probably going to be a lot of action in bot lane, but I think the mid and top lane is what matters the most. <laughs> usually in these tri lanes, the, if the core matchups don't go as you think they'll go, it usually is very detrimental to your game. Yeah, definitely. Alrighty, we see the supports beginning to spar off aside the lanes, or besides the lanes, rather. It's going to be a nice stroke of fate onto two. We do have the Fissure available. They will commit for this, and actually, Nice, level 2 here on CML will be able to get a kill with the Purifying Flames. All these kills are just from level 2s. Yeah, pretty much. Big power Trying. spike at level 2, unironically. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of this top lane, Mars versus the DP solo? This is maybe uh, what we were expecting to see mid, but now we see it in a different lane on different... I think uh, it's slightly DP favorite. And then I think at some point Mars gets soul ring and he doesn't care anymore. Man, I feel like it's been so long since we've seen a, a, a proper tri lane on um, tri lane. This is not the one I had imagined. <laughs> Phoenix Grim Stroke Strut. Yeah, go try. Yeah, this is really weird, but I like it, to be honest. I think it can work. As the fissure. I'm not sure what that fissure was for. He just actually blocks himself off now. Okay, healing self. Yep, lots of sticks in this lane for sure, because. There's so many heroes that definitely increases the value of one magic stick. Lots of spells being thrown out. I'm not sure right. if casting fire spirit gives you stick. I don't believe it does. Uh, I think it's because it costs no mana or something like that. I see. Oh, let's check. He's got one more Makes to throw. Sense. But dive does cast it. No, I know throwing it doesn't give you stick, but does casting it like... Like pulling the boys out. Instead oh, of I, I, pulling the boys out. I believe yeah. pulling the boys out does indeed... Uh, grant a one stick charge. Mm. But releasing the boys is not. It's a nice fissure onto Dream Cell, but they just simply don't have the follow up for him. Kez cute. Instead, gonna take a little bit of harass. Let's check mid. Razor's quite low in this lane, and to your credit, this might be why he doesn't really enjoy it so far. He's pushing the lane quite yeah, hard. You, you, you out CS Kunka, but you use money to buy south. 
Mm -hmm. So every time this Kunkka like cleaves twice, you actually have to solve once. It's kind of the or problem. If you get hit by a torrent. Yeah. That's kind of like the the enigma of uh, of laning against uh, a uh, what's his name a Kunkka, right? If you if if you can't disarm him, you just need to buy so much regen because he doesn't need mana for his. Yeah, it's a lot. Ability. It's a lot about uh, dodging the cleave, like sidestepping, but. Mm -hmm. It's not simple. Like you yeah. have to kind of go in a certain direction to drain him, right? So yeah, it's easier said than done. For oh, sure. Mikoro dodges the drain. That's pretty big. Arcane rune here at least makes it a little bit easier. Forty-five mana compared to what the was this fifty normally? Sixty-five. So you can get off uh, an extra one or two. Top lane's been quite boring though. I feel like this is a. Uh... You know, D uh, obviously Mars wasn't in the game back when we had the 2v2 mid meta, and then it was DK, DP every single game. But uh, I think he's another one of those heroes that, you know, he he's just going to farm, man. He needs a lot of salves, sure, but he's, he's still going to farm. I think Boom coming out slightly ahead here at the 5 minute rune mark is they'll secure 3 bounties for themselves. Well, does get one top. It's okay. Mm-hmm. I wonder what the first rotation is going to be because it's pretty hard for everyone to leave bot lane. I say that, but Phoenix does rotate mid. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I mean, again, big timing here, mid wave, trying to apply some pressure. Actually, Razor leaving the lane, it looks yeah, like, to get but more regen. He's to, you know, so. It's not as great as it No, of course. It doesn't make a huge difference. I think they just want to apply pressure, uh, maybe get a little bit more like, speed to the Slark in the, in the meantime. What a and, career, uh, not so many. Career does. Missing middle. <laughs> There you go. The TP's coming Hold back. Dashing yeah. out there. The plasma. If they get mid, Grimstroke TP's might, might go down. It's a big commitment, though. They definitely know that Phoenix is missing. That's All not right, Natsumi is TP, and Natsumi's had enough oh, of this lane. He's he's out of here. He's he's gonna evict Bach from the lane now. He says, "Excuse me, you oh, took my range PP." Oh, he canceled Keskyu's TP. Ooh. He TP in the lane. Keskyu, don't do that. Phoenix will that was cancel his TP yeah. by himself. I saw that one. Okay, so now TP in top. This is the Mars, as he will be dropping that Makoto from the mid lane here onto Bach. They will commit. The Exorcism, however, as these ghosts are yes, flying magic around. Stick. Yes, magic stick magic. is available. Taking a lot of damage here from the tier 1 tower, but continuing to dive as Makoto doesn't really care that much. He's got that 40% magic resist, <laughs> and there we go with the cleave. They're going to be able to get the kill in addition to a little bit of help from the tower. Natsumi, normally when he makes this rotation, he's level 6. This time, he's level 4. Yeah, I think the big thing as well is like the creep wave wasn't at the tower, so it gave so much time for Boom to like prepare. Like, the green stroke TP got cancelled, Phoenix TP is like, no, nah, not you, that cool got TP. <laughs> they still got the DP. You know? like, you're actually, like you're, this, uh, you're so right about that. They're like, hey, I need someone top. Uh, okay, I'm yeah. coming, Grimshaw. And then, oh, uh, I, was I like, think I in this case, like, the, the PL shouldn't be the one going. Uh, I think that's uh, I mean, this aggro thing is not something that happens a lot, so people don't understand. Like, there's no way you want this level 4 PL to help you push the tower. Yeah, what, like, you, what's... Want, you want the Razor, you know? Yeah, he's not gonna do that. Yeah, speaking of Razor, Mac has now rotated top, looking to get a kill oh. onto Makoto. Nice kill there, solo kill. Maybe even going for two here if they want to dive. Again, this is the same issue though. Yeah, he's gonna commit Eye of the Storm, but the creep wave not underneath the tower, so Mac's gonna go ahead and back up and at least use that healing salve. Uh. <laughs> No one is mid though. Uh, the mid yeah, lane has PL, been abandoned. PL, PL is the one that should be mid. I think. He can farm the mid lane and just kill a side camp. He doesn't want to be part of any of this. He wants to catch up into the game. It's under level. He can't lane anyone right now. Mm -hmm. Let's go mid. He's cute. Running into a jungle. Stacking. And these lanes, these lanes have been so weird. This is a good game for like uh, for you to train. You know, like if you got an API to train that or an API reader, so you'd be like, well, who was mid, who was top? Because it looks like we've, we've swapped the lanes. The only person consistent in their lane has been Dreamacell. He's been bot lane consistently this entire time. Everyone else has tried to leave or has left at this time. In fact, now we got four heroes top at the eight minute mark here for a droid. Big yeah. rotation here. I will say, like, credits to Dreamcell, he seems to be, at least in this series, the player that's least affected by what's going on in the game, you know? mm -hmm. like, like, he's looking out for himself as a carry issue. Yeah. Like, that's a really good trait, big trait to have. As he's, a, a he's, he's playing the anime music at max volume, he can barely oh, hear his teammates in the Discord. Guy. Deep That's dive good. indeed. Bach, level 7 here does not. Oh, does have the exorcism as. Uh oh. Unfortunately, He's the so torrent is off the Mars. What's wrong with this hero? 
390 move speed. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ice Frog. Atsumi's still not level 6 here. Having a bit of a tough time. Hyde is level 3. I feel his pain. The cores have to like open the map somehow. Usually when you see trilanes, you'll see both core, all three cores go take the tower together. That's mm -hmm. usually the normal rotation, I would say. Because the supports can't play right now. You know? Yeah, I mean, they're trying to go top lane. FPZ is not an easy kill, but you're going to have to commit the exorcism for this. And they need the RPZ looking for the TP out. Going to get that cancelled. Most likely the kiss of death for him here. That's not to me. Finally, level 6 has got some boys to come in and assist with this kill. But it will go to Bach. Mac almost goes down, does not get it. Mikoto tries to play oh. it as well, but no big deal. Adroid does get top tower. And outpost. Oh, they get double. Is it double? No, it's not. They lose one outpost. Uh, I'm kind of worried for Adroid though. This PL versus Slark ain't looking too good for the PL. No, not at all. In fact, right now, just before we switch over to net worth here, we got 76 CS compared to the 44 thus far at 10 minutes. But, I mean, you can still make a recovery. PL's, you know, he's not your flash farmer, but he farms. He, this yeah, I, I just don't feel like PL's the... It's not like the previous PL game where PL just wins at some point. You know? Yeah, this is not a kill, actually. Still no level 6 here on Boomy. They at least forced out a charge of the Spirit Siphon. Top lane, FBZ back to farming. What's he going for this game? Wand, Deso. So it seems like a very similar build, just a different person playing him in a different lane. Yeah, it's like my turn now. Mm hmm. I want to have fun. Uh, this, is, this time there's no dog to build the kennel, though. Unfortunately. Continuing the stacks for the Kumka. Oh, that's the tower. So tower for tower. A little bit later, but. Dream is able to utilize that uh, level 10 cart for the kill. There we go. Big stacks here. Triple stacks. Yeah, triple stacks all around. And some assistance from Kezku. Max Torrents. This is going to be some nice, juicy uh, XP and gold. Look at this. What a player. Hey, they got him at the boat. Why not? Yeah, his, uh, his radiance is really big this game. Yeah, definitely. If he can get it early. It's super value against this PL. This PL hero from behind in games that are against heroes that can itemize against him, it's hard. Mm -hmm. We'll get better. Meanwhile, Dream of Cell is still in the bottom lane. Oh yeah, he is still in the bottom lane. Now the rotation is finally coming to him. He's going to get the pounce away, and that should be far enough to dissuade any uh, kill attempt here. Uh, Exorcism oh, coming no. off cooldown now, though, so be aware of that. Yeah, I wonder what Adroid feel like they should do in this game. I'm not sure if they can like just run at towers even with Oracle out too. They're not strong enough, I think. And if they wait for this slug to get defused, I actually think they can't get mid tower anymore. That's actually a really good point because at least with the timber, ideally you do well in one lane and force some rotations or you know do something. But now it's the DP off lane who wants yeah, to hit towers. It's bad, I think. Uh, I didn't consider that once. Uh, what was their last pick here? It was the Razor, wasn't it? Mm, I think another problem I see is like. Um, on Boom, they have this offering hero and stuff, you know, and on Android, they don't. Like, it's Mars. I mean, he's not buying offering, I guess, but they are, there are things you can itemize for, you know. Credence against PL, you know. This Mars can choose to go offering Crimson if he really wants to, but he's choosing to go damage just because of how far afraid they, of hit they feel. So they're all just going to scale. Yep. Meanwhile, this DP is going to buy his jewels, and I don't think he's going to get any items after that if he just keeps farming. Honestly, yeah, I don't think... I don't think they can, a droid can really afford to let the DP farm this much, right? Like, as in, I think the, the Razor needs that farm. I think, uh, PL, I think needs PL, farm. PL really needs that farm. You know, they were just rotated top for a kill. They just spent like two minutes there, not really getting much uh, accomplished. <laughs> Pops goes to farm, he's done. Bob. Oh, they'll see the ghost too. Oh no, oh, Bob. No. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, there we go. The team's all gathering around. It's going to oh, be a 3 engagement. Though. That's a nice ward, and that should be Bach getting back. So instead, they're going to take CML instead. Boomy nearby is level 7. They're going to commit the Arena of Mars, but won't matter too much. CML absolutely getting control. This Faded Bush, Kunka. Fair Bush should not be a tier 2 item. No How way. much do you think it needs to be nerfed? To be a tier it, it should be at least tier 2. It gives you too fast. Yeah, too fast. Tier 5 is way too much. There you go. Quick D word there for Dream of Cell. How did he have vision up there? Oh, of course, the sentry. Duh. 
All right, we've nearly got mana boots now on Keskyu. Let's take a look at the supports uh, real quick. I always like looking at supports as we get, uh, you know, 14, 15 minutes into the game, just because this is when all the cores are doing their boring, their boring hitting creeps, and this is a good reflection on how supports have done. Uh, so CML, uh, he's got one. It looks like he just bought something, but I think he's just unfortunately this poor right now. 1,500 net worth to him. Yeah. This game's so one-sided just because of one rotation. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, seriously. Boom, Boom hasn't even like tried to use their spells, you know, just like, yeah, we're fine. Pretty much, yeah, they, they, don't, they don't really feel any pressure this way. Which is crazy when you're playing against the PL, right? I feel like normally... I mean, I mean their, lineup, their lineup's not bad against PL though, is the thing, you know? Which is why I'm like questioning the pick. Like in the previous game, that PL pick was... It was good against the first three heroes, and then they picked Lycan, which is not good against PL, and then they picked Tide, which is okay, but not the best, you know? And then it just became this. This PL is gonna win the game at some point, you know. This game, I don't think it's the same at all. Also, because of the laning phase, like previous game, the PL killed the Tide, right? He had a really good lane. This game, PL is like so far behind. Definitely. Also, things like your supporting cast, like DP, you know, he's, he's having a rough one. Like, he feels so lost. Oh. Sure I'm on the floor, FPZ farming top. Does have his dagger if he wants it. Oh, they scan Roshan though. Do they think they're rushing? No. Oh, they might. Just gonna defend mid tower Look with at the, the smoke double yules. Oh, yeah. there's a dagger on Boomy as well. We haven't even seen. Oh, that could be potentially oh, huge. Oh, hide throwing. There's hide the throwing, exorcism. Hide yeah, they do have the silence, and he's not gonna be able to get anything off there. Yep. All right, well, they forced that out. I feel like Boom just go, all right, we can chill. Let's wait out the sexism. Tier one, mid, sure. You don't want to just ever give that one up, but I think there's a little bit too much behind Adroy right now for you to contest this. Yeah, he just, he can just gaze Radiance on the Kunkka and they can take a fight after. Exactly. It's fine that they lose the tower. I don't know what the Phoenix is doing. It's like no. Just walking in. It's like, yeah, I'm here, guys. Wrong place, wrong time there, unfortunately. They also didn't reveal the dagger on the object, which is pretty big. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. They had it in case they needed it. At least they didn't, you know, if they had blinked there, that would have been maybe not so good for a droid. But that's oh a very God. good he gets point. His, gets his Radiance and the and the Vembrace. Uh, Perfect. Oh, 2k HP now. God damn. He's, uh... Let's lose the Fade Approach to... Oh, Bok. Oh, Bok's there. Bok might be in some oh, trouble. Oh, Dreamo Cell's dead. Oh, look at that. The Echo Slam to try and turn. But Dreamo Cell will get off the ult, but it won't matter because the Plasma Field will just catch him with the tip. Now the Egg under attack, but they won't have the damage. There's going to be the ult. It's going to stun to three. It's massive. As out they go, Natsumi able to doppel his way out of the pit. Now Hyde back onto Macker. They need a little bit more. That's going to be the Yule Scepter Hyde just getting very aggressive. Yule's now on to the Phoenix, actually. He, he will uh, die. Makoto Soria will die as well. Kezku somehow getting that kill with the stroke of fate through the trees as two will now be binded together. They don't really have the damage to continue fighting as Makoto with the Radiance trying to do whatever he can. There's going to be the Ink Swell. Onto Bok they go. FBZ doesn't have a whole lot of mana, but he at least can get that done. But finally, Makoto will go down. Kezku now getting eaten live here by Natsumi with that fresh uh, Diffusal Blade. And... Uh, a pretty, there, I would say. Yeah, it was very aggressive. I did not see. Uh, I did not see Dream uh, It was go in a that very hard. good silence by Bob. Silence even before the dark pack. No one was nearby to save him, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, it was unfortunate how the DP died. They actually they didn't have any vision. She was just kind of standing here and then got caught yeah, by the, the stroke star, of fate. The star walked in and then just. God silence. Really uh -oh. good. They might find Sakura again. Back in the game now. That Looks was the top. first Radiance fight. Oh. Dreamer Cell in a lot of trouble. Do they have the control for him? The nukes? He's got the Shadow he's fine. Dance. Yeah, he is totally fine, actually. He actually he's, he's even got a little bit of healing from the Oracle as he leaves. Hmm. I wonder if the Sunray would have saved Dreamer Cell earlier. Yeah, I guess it's just level one. The D Ward yeah. coming out. Right, Makoto. Makoto lived quite a long time in there, but uh Yeah, it was kind of the boat buff. Once the boat buff mm. ran out, he just died. Exactly. They need their BQVs to fight. And this they need to go on the same targets too. It's not very simple. I think the timing especially is quite important. I think everything yeah. was a little bit too staggered. The, the the Phoenix ult and the Mars ult were definitely I think they were together. Yeah. I think that was a, a good piece there, but yeah. so. we, we call it the what do you call it? We we set up we set up, you know? 
Mm. You set up, you get the the ring, you know, you don't leave the ring. Don't leave the ring. Don't it's, leave the ring. You, you got leave the, the ring, you know, you're gonna die. There's always this joke that the pros love building circles, you know? Mm -hmm. So just, you know, everyone be in the circle it's together. The arena, the Wukong. Yeah, yeah. The Disruptor, the Naga, you know? Just love circles. Sunstrike, Cataclysm as well, that's another one. Oh, that's true. The entire team here is behind... Oh wow, is that a... Wow, Vela Discord on Phoenix, interesting. I yeah, almost yeah, feel like the Midas. first item is almost always Yules, I feel. Mm, I think it's so. In China. I, I would have, I would have got Yules this game too. Yeah, for the silence specifically, I think. Mm, I think it's about uh -oh. cancelling the Shikri. Makoto? Oh, they, they're actually gonna find both. And getting silenced here, they will be able to get the kill there onto Kezku oh, quite no. easily. Just taking Makoto Ooh, for a walk here. Crumbling. Oh, they're gonna get rushed for this. Level 2 ghosts. Yeah, level 2 ghosts. They should smoke on boom. They can definitely fight slowly. Are they gonna smoke? They have egg and sunray. Yeah, they're Who's smoking. this? They won this fight. There's Dream Cell here. He's gonna get scouted by CML. Perhaps try and force a who, kill here. Yeah, that's they're a good point. Out. There's the rotations. Hold oh, on to the fissure. Oh my goodness, look at this. There's gonna be the arena of death behind from FBZ. Sunray on top of Boomy to nuke him down. Two buybacks out of a droid here as Mac left all alone. There's gonna be the Yule Scepter, the Phoenix Egg though on oh, top. And that is a sunny side up egg. They will get Roche at least in the meantime. Natsumi now will be joining this fight. And that's a very dead Dreamer Cell. Unfortunately, the egg not doing too much work there. It's two buybacks out of a joint for this, but it might be worth it. Hyde going for the TP out. They don't have anything to stop it. Oh, the Yule Scepter is there just in time. However, Caster's Curse, Silence, and Controlled FBZ. Man fighting versus Natsumi. Can't get much done here. As now having respawned will be the Kunkka. Throwing the boat. Should be fine here, actually. And a droid, they commit heavily for that, but everything's worth it. Those buybacks were still when the, the exorcism was up. That, that buyback from Oracle saving the Razor was so big there. Yeah. Power of time. He has his BKB now. And Dreamer Cell did go down as well. Mm, I was gonna say, like, the Yules is. Uh, I don't think it's for silence. I think so you can save your teammate from this uh, Shaker combo. Mm. But if he just echoes the slug before he duck packs, like, he's gonna get all three spells out. They don't really have a save beside Mars. Alright, uh, you'll so just point. finish his BKB. I mean, I don't think they need more damage you know, oh to fail. But it is good against PL. I'd like to see him go Shivas over Lotus. It's against PL. It's just really, really good to have. DP building his BKB. The game does look very mm. good for Adroid, I would say, considering yeah, how yeah. the early game went. But I mean, I mean two kills on a Slark will do that. Ideas. Yeah, that's true. I still prefer Boom's lineup overall much more. Now we have so Manta. There's a lot of crappiness going on in the fights. I think the PL just... is top network. Yeah, yeah. Overtaking the Kunkka. The Kunkka just, I mean, alone, obviously, no one can really 1v5. But just, I mean, the Kunkka, even all his farm gets put to no use uh, against the squad. Uh, like, heroes against, like, against heroes, like, this DP and Kunkka, there's, like, a rule to killing them, you know. You stun, you stun them before they cast their stuff. Mm -hmm. If you go on DP before she drains, like, she's actually not tanky anymore. And same with Kunkka board, right? He gets silenced, and then, you know, he just... Nice. There you go, Natsumi. This time he's gonna be picking up the Imp Claw. Dreamacell had his turn with it, now it's his turn. So that's a pretty decent item for them. Such uh, a nice item on PL. So yeah. happy to see red numbers. What is. Yeah, seriously. Especially at such a low level. <laughs> right, that's BKB completed flying out. Uh, so far, Kezcute's not carrying a, a, a neutral item, which is a little annoying. I guess, I mean, what do you take? The Grove Bow? Hmm. <laughs> No harm hitting it. Yeah. 100 range for that debot. I guess. Bottom lane. Yeah, they're gonna be trading towers here. I think Adroid are gonna do this a bit faster though, of course. Because they've got that dragon scale. TP and Bot though, they're gonna be looking to fight. The Echo Slime is only onto one, and they have the interrupt there. BKB will get off from Dream Cell. He's still holding on to the Shadow Dance. Has leashed up. It will be FVZ's and easy to own BKB to try and TP out. Kaz Cute is a little ambitious. Is he gonna get away? No, he will not. The Yule Scepter just in time, interrupting the TP. He's gonna be left alone. But uh, three BKBs popped there. That was a very far bling from Boomy, I must say. Surprising Dream Cell didn't like react to it. Uh, I guess they were in the fog. Didn't see anything. Yeah. 
Very close fight. Slark has the axe queued up. DP is close to BKB as well. Oh, I think. Oh, yeah. All right, what is uh, what is Makoto building here? Oh, they're maybe looking to fight bottom. Is there's the control onto CML? Do they have the kill? They do. Dreamcell is able to secure oh, that Mikoto, one. Not Sumi onto Makoto. Oh, there they go. There's gonna be the fissure, the control on the back lines as Makoto still, but slowly dying. It looks like the rest of the team going elsewhere for the fight. Look how long he's living, but finally that run buff will end on the back lines. Oh, it's not even good news for Boom as F uh, FPZ getting controlled on top of that. Dreamcell at least gets the pounce away from not. Sumi, but for how much longer? Looking for the fissure onto FPZ. They're gonna find it. Bach with the exorcism will force out the PKB, but it won't matter. He's still gonna die anyway. Now Dream Cell trying to get something done. Here's Keski with a two-man stroke of fate. Able to at least slow him down somehow, but look at this. Up onto the high ground they go. Nearly diving the tier fours, at least with the illusions to try and get something done here. But boom, three will fall once again, all in exchange for the Oracle. Uh, Little... and and Boomy's career. I am Boomy's career, yes. How is DP so fast? Uh, that was insane. Like, they, they don't even like have waves. <laughs> they don't yeah, even he steals have... Oh, he steals wolf speed too. My god. Oh, what a hero. Uh, they do have double BKB now. I think that fight... I, I think this Kunka not having BKB. Like, he, he was so ahead. He was doing well in his game, and then he just has these fights where he's, he's dying, he's getting silenced, you know. Yeah. It's so hard for him. His team wants to fight, but he wants no part of it until he gets he... BKB. Alright, that's how he just expired at least, we hear. Yeah, he just got completely isolated. Just everyone in that fight got isolated. That long Pinter's duration silence. Yeah. FPZ waited. He, he was maybe thinking he could live throughout that, but unfortunately he paid very heavily. I think that was his 9 second DKB yeah. used there I mean, to not Bo really Bo's much use. Lineup, Bo's, Bo's lineup is starting to fall off because the PL is the only core without BKB right now. And Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix and Grimm and this Kunkka, they all, they all do damage through, like, they're scared of BKBs. How do you even kill the PL this game? Mm, I think when you have like this Reigns BKB and Phoenix has Shiva, like if this PL is not this far ahead, which he I is. don't think he should yeah. be, yeah. I think like how they played out in the laning phase, this PL should be slightly behind their course. And this DP and Razor will probably be poorer as well, but Adroid doing a real good job of, I would say coming back into the game, the game looked pretty horrible. Yeah. To go. Looks like they're maybe considering going for a smoke play here as they all group up in their triangle. Item dropped to spider legs. Quite good here. I think maybe give that to the Phoenix. There we go. Yoink. Look at that. A bird with a bird with legs. What, what do you say to that, Bruno? He's got legs now. Yes, Bruno. Has nothing to say. Bruno, nothing to say. We no Mac, comment here. Uh, Mac, BKB though, is they're gonna try and fight. Hyde is in a good position here on the logon. There's gonna be two caught now inside the arena. CML forced to ulti himself. There's gonna be the egg up on the high ground though. As now they're gonna be forced back. CML certainly is dead. Indeed he is. As now Natsumi will get stunned by the supernova on the back lines here. FPZ now with the ink swell applied, but Mac getting very aggressive here onto Dream Assault, forcing him all the way back with Eye of the Storm. He's gonna get the kill. Natsumi now dominating as he will get a solo kill as well. On to Keskewed, FBZ just forced to TP out and hide the last to fall in this engagement. As a droid, they're simply just dividing and conquering. This Kunkka did not cast his boat and he tried to TP out and the Razor just solo killed him full to zero. Uh, oh, looking real rough for Boom. Yeah, no damage done in that fight. It looks like they just got caught off guard there. Boom were not prepared to fight there for whatever yeah. reason. I mean, they can't fight into the... No, oh, they can't. Right already. There's the heart now on Natsumi. I just... Uh, the good news is there's no exorcism at least, but, I mean, this team pushes so fast regardless. The blink for the Death Prophet. It's, it's back in the game, too. Yep. Everyone's just back in the game. Except Mikoto. Poor guy. Oh. Poor Mikoto. A real AK. rough one. AK net worth difference here in favor of Adroits. Win probability slowly going up. 82% according to Dota Plus. It's getting pretty difficult here. Natsumi queues up the basher. Let's try to think of ways Boom can take fights now. They, it feels like they've fallen so far behind that they're just. The item disadvantage itself is too much to deal with right now. They're doing yeah. a good job of killing supports in fights, but that's really all they can kill for now. 
pretty much. I mean, and they they commit so much. I mean, at least they get the the Oracle borrowed uh, borrowed time on himself. Sorry, borrowed time, uh, false promise. But that's not even much. And now, look, Makoto just we're well, taking a stroll through the river here. They're gonna have the heals from. But look how much damage he's taking. The boat will come out this time at the very least. He's learned. Keskyu on the back line will get saved by just a second here. As now, Dream Assault. Actually, they might be able to catch Natsumi there. As they do have the stun on. Look at that. The PL. He will go down. Makoto taking them for a walk through the river leaves the PL all alone. The stun, all the follow-ups in the world were there on to him and perfectly placed. They do take down the PL. How much gold was that? 684. Sunray coming in clutch there. Oh, beautiful. What a spell. That, that, that turned on its head. I thought for sure Kezcute was going to get murdered there, but the ink swell yeah, the, was... The boat buff as well. Yeah. Oh. They, cast, they, they had no ghosts on a droid too. So and Mac Mac did some sick juke. He walked into Roche and walked out and it took like an extra five seconds to kill him. Oh. A droid with ghosts and our I can't refresh on DP, I mean, with their ghosts now they are running to top lane. Look, a droid is still so confident though, they smoke up right away. Snag themselves an outpost. Oh, they find Dreamacell too. This could potentially be very bad. He will get off yes, that BKB staff, at the very least. Four staff away. BKB in addition to the Shadow Dance. Nice body blacks are coming out. Kesku with the slows trying to get something. There's going to be the Sunray. They do not have the Supernova down to the low ground. But waiting for him there is going to be Boomy with the Echo Slam. They're going to find two. They do have the buyback, but Kesku will get eaten alive by the Eye of the Storm. Next up might be FPZ. He's going to drop the Arena of Mars, but just absolutely nothing he can do. Oh, he's still alive. Oh my god, he's still alive! FBZ How? FBZ God. FBZ God. Uh, did Dreamer Cell not have TP there? Couldn't he have just BKB TP? You know what? Probably could have. He probably could have. Yeah, both seeming a bit down in this game. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a mistake there. Maybe, I don't. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, Rush is up too. They, they were smoked up to his credit, so he couldn't have known how many people were there until, well, it was too late, I guess. But yeah, nice false, false promise there to just kite out the Slark as Roche uh, not going to be able to live too long here. Natsumi, lots of red numbers. Mikoto takes 100 power in the OE over the strength. That's interesting. I don't see that. Not sure that's normal. Maybe an Ags is in the midst. Yeah, but yes. Yeah, I guess so. I guess. I mean, that's the only thing I can come up with. Uh, I don't play a lot of Kunkka, though, to be fair. She's for the Razor this time. My goodness. The real false promise in that fight was uh, thinking that Boomy would not Echo Slam, to be honest. Yeah, he's a veteran Earthshaker player. He's a veteran Earthshaker player. He understands that if you kill one core with Echo, it's good enough. Yep. And exactly. They're gonna a little sneaky Icarus dive here to snag the outpost. I always love. I like the sound of machine gunning fire spears. It's a very satisfying sound. I'm, I'm a big fan of the 20 PL CD. The what? The 20 PLs at bottom lane. Oh yeah. Phantom Lancers, you know, it's just the... Oh, the fans, yeah, yeah, yeah. The rush and the hit, the rush and the hit. Blade Mill queued up on Mikoto. I kind of like this against Razor, but he has cheese now, so I don't know how good this is. Razor is level 25 too, my god. This is, you know, it, it's kind of interesting because it, you get the... Obviously, Radiance does damage, it's not only for the mischance, but you get Razor, or you get the Radiance for the mischance, and then you're like, all right, well, now you need to hit me, so I do damage to you with Blade Mill. I think there's no item... He, he needs an item to like help him win fights very soon, so he can't really like go buy what he wants to buy. He's just yeah. trying to make. Do. Yeah, he's trying to make do, but a droid. Yeah, they're going to make do of this uh, bot lane here. As my goodness, look at the damage on that tower. Mac is just again. I dare you to complete that TP. He says, and FPC. He dares. <laughs> he dares. He dares. Can they fight though? Like I don't ah, see how they fight. I don't think they can hide at least oh, with the sunray. He uses his sunray. All right, uh, fights over. That's gonna be. That's the most important spell in the game. Oh, he's got, a, he's got a Lotus Orb here, at least for the silence, but it won't matter too much. 17 seconds till that's back off cooldown. Level 16 now, thanks to even the book. FPZ will get scouted out here in the trees. He's got his BKB. He will at least get it off, but he's look at the dead. damage. He's got nothing to share this with. And the ghost. Oh, the bulwark. Look at this. In a tactical oh, retreat. He still will fall, however. Natsumi now going to be diving Kezku. The Inks will not going to get a chance to go off the torrent. Will be dodged as well. Two heroes dead. No buyback is there. There's going to be a second Sunray hide. Icarus diving into the fountain here. 
Makoto, this time with the spider legs, is able to escape at least, but they've all left Dreamacell all alone versus five heroes. He's gonna get rooted, stunned. He's in this uh, in the shadow dance, but not for much longer. What do they have left here? They've got the boat and they've got egg. And, uh, uh, they have nothing left, Rich. That's all I can say. They've got hope, though. They've got maybe hope. Some, maybe some hopes, some dreams, but. We, we need all oh, the Echo win. Slam for the boys out from Boomy. That's they a double kill for Mac. Chance of winning. It's yes, looking. The good game is called. The good game is called uh, indeed. Hey, Droid, starting the game a bit rough, but they come back. Some good fights, some good smokes, you know. Then them. Really well played to them. Yeah, very well played. That was a that was a team chat call, of course. Boom, not gonna call it. This is SCA Dota. The game's not over till the Ancient explodes here, but uh, it basically is over as the BKBs will come out into the fountain. They go Makoto with his own BKB. At least they cannot get in thanks to the Fissure Block. Slark trying to do something. He's got the eggs now, but that just helps him get back into his fountain sooner. Mac nearly dead. Will pop the cheese as the False Promise does come out. Bach still trying to team fight here as the Arena of Mars, but the Ghost still hitting the Ancient. 18 HP down to zero. 35 minutes. Adroits will take the 2-1 victory and their ticket to the Grand 